I'm Dr. Chuck Munyon, and I'm the Director of Functional and Restorative Neurosurgery at Temple University Hospital. Movement disorders are a very broad group of diseases, and so they have a lot of different causes. For example, essential tremor is inherited through families and is very responsive to appropriate neurosurgical treatment. Parkinson's disease and uh, related disorders, however, have uh, a cause that is not fully understood. We do know that they are degenerative disorders of the brain, meaning that they involve the death of brain cells over time. And at this time, we don't have any therapies that reverse those changes or stop the cell death. What we do have, however, is the ability to intervene and alleviate the symptoms that are caused by the death of those brain cells. Unfortunately, because Parkinson's disease is progressive, frequently patients will reach a point where medications are no longer effective. At that point, we offer a therapy called deep brain stimulation. Deep brain stimulation is uh, a brain surgery technique which involves a relatively minimally invasive approach to very precisely placing a wire into deep structures in the brain. This wire is then tunneled underneath the skin to a generator, kind of like a pacemaker for the brain. This pacemaker can be programmed through the skin without further surgery until the optimal pattern has been found for restoring balance in the circuits within the brain. Here at Temple, uh, we have an approach that has been very well scientifically validated, which involves uh, not only recording the activity of the brain to make sure that we're in the right spot, but also testing the electrode so that the patient can see the effects immediately. The outcome uh, that patients experience with deep brain stimulation depends a little bit on uh, what indication it's being used for. Patients with essential tremor, for example, notice an immediate cessation in their tremor. Unfortunately, it comes back immediately if we turn the generator off, but fortunately, we can keep the generator running uh, and typically don't need to change the battery for three or four years. In Parkinson's disease, it can be a little bit more subtle in terms of the time to improvement. What patients typically notice is that they get a state where they are at the same level of benefit that they got when their medication regimen did not have as many side effects and did not require them to take medication so frequently. When we initiate deep brain stimulation, one of the first things patients notice is that that period of feeling at their best, even if it doesn't get them to normal, can now be extended throughout the day in a way that makes things much more pleasant and allows them to plan on activities that last much longer than their optimum windows used to allow. So the improvement in quality of life that we can get with deep brain stimulation is really pretty impressive.